Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Prevention of Money Laundering Act Why PMLA needs to relook What is PMLA 2002? What are the proposed amendments for PMLA bill? GS Paper 3 Money Laundering and its Prevention In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from thehindu.com, dated August 19, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? Recently, in our country, there is a remarkable increase in litigations pertaining to money laundering. The question is whether putting the accused behind bars for money laundering crimes and attaching their properties for unlimited years is a solution to curb this menace in the society? The answer somewhere is no. The application of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 demands a sincere approach to segregate as to which offence constitute parent offences and which are propagated offences. What is PMLA 2002? Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 is an act of the Parliament of India enacted to prevent money laundering and to provide for confiscation of property derived from money laundering. PMLA and the rules notified there undercame into force with effect from July 1, 2005. The Act and rules notified thereunder impose obligations on banking companies, financial institutions and intermediaries to verify identity of clients, maintain record and furnish information. What are the proposed amendments for PMLA Bill? Amendment in definition of proceeds of crime A key proposed change is in the definition of proceeds of crime which now also allows the ED to proceed against assets of equivalent value located even outside the country. Amendment in bail provisions In a move to dealing PMLA proceedings from those in scheduled offences pursued by other agencies and amended Section 45.1 proposes uniform applicability of bail conditions instead of only those crimes listed in its schedule that attract more than three years imprisonment. The amendment to Section 8.8 allows the Special Code, if it deems fit, to consider the claims for the purposes of restoration of such properties also during the trial. The government has introduced a new subsection 2 of Section 66, making it mandatory for the ED to share relevant details with other agencies.